Let's talk about traffic. Yeah, I think it's time for us to talk about traffic. Everyone wants traffic, right? A million followers on your Instagram, thousands of visits on your website. This is traffic when you are attracting people to you. But how you do that? What's the pros and cons on doing that? How you deal with this after? Do you wanna know? Come with me. Hi, I'm Sira. I was born in an artistic family and as an agent, manager, and producer, I've worked for many years selling artists from all around the world. Today, I want to help you to become a full-time artist. Hello, I am Suira, and I'm here to help you to become a full-time artist. And if you want to become a full-time artist, traffic is something that you will need. However, people have a distorted image about what is traffic or how you deal with this after you have it. Let's start with the definitions. I think that's how we are going to start from the beginning, right? And the definition traffic is when you drive people to your platforms. Your Instagram can be your Facebook, can be your uh, website, it can be your studio, it can be your store, whatever platform you have that represents you and your brand every person that goes there it's called traffic so people also imagine that the more traffic you have the better it is if i am open i store right now i want to have people get into my store and i imagine that the more people i have into my store the better it is right not exactly and now i want to broke your dreams a little bit and at the same time give you a solution that you're going to like why i'm going to break your dreams because traffic doesn't mean sales you can have a million of followers on your instagram and have no buyers you can have thousands of people getting inside of your studio and have no customers. What do you really want? You want lots of people going there or you want lots of people buying from you? Because if you want to be a full-time artist, artist is your profession. You are an artist in the same way that somebody else is a lawyer, somebody else is a nurse. You need to pay your salary by the end of the day. If you don't have money coming in, how are you going to produce more art? How are you going to pay your bills? So it is important for you to convert traffic into clients. And that's the thing. The most important, it's not the traffic, but is this conversion. And when people talk to me, they are always asking about the traffic. They are never asking about the conversion. And I ask myself, why? I don't know if artists are not thinking about this or if they have a small misconception that if you have more people come into your store, you're going to have more clients by the end. But this is not 100% true. And you know that. How many times you get into a store and you buy nothing? I do that all the time. How many accounts on Instagram you follow and you never bought anything from any of these people or you never interact with them in any way? If you believe that traffic is the only thing that you need, I need to break your dreams right there. However, if you change your focus from the traffic to the conversion, now I can help you to get a better result on selling your art. You don't need a thousand, a million, or a stupid huge number uh, of people following you on your Instagram, for example, because it's super hard to have more followers. What you need is a specific group of people that are loyal to you and then they can be your followers then they can visit your website then they can go to your studio or any other place you don't need a lot you just need a select group of people this select group of people we call niche 
or right buyers. That's how I like to call them. Those right buyers are people who like what you do, so they resonate with your artistic message. They have access to you, so they can get into your Facebook, they can get to your Instagram, they can get to your store, to your studio, or whatever you are, and they have means to buy from you. You don't want any other person. The people that you want are those right buyers this niche so the more you understand your niche the more you can show what you do but you're going to show to this people and these people only and it doesn't matter that just a hundred people if you have a hundred people that buy from you it's way better than you have a thousand of people that don't buy from you so how you change the idea from traffic to conversion you start understanding yourself you need to have an identity that's the first step you need to understand what you do and why you do that why you are different from all the other artists in the world what you can offer that no one else can offer because I know you have a uniqueness inside you I know you have something that no other artists have if you are not showing this to people, no one will see. So the first step is look into the mirror, look inside yourself, do start this self-knowledge exercise and discover who you are and what you want. When you discover those things, you will be able to feel your essence. Your essence is a feeling. After that, you need to translate this feeling into simple words. This is your message. And I will make another video about this because this is really important. When you put all this emotion into a simple sentence and you create your message, now you can give visibility to this message. It means you're going to tell this message to everyone. Here, sometimes people don't understand what I say, tell your message, because actually you need to tell a lot. You need to be super consistent on saying this. You need to tell for everyone at all the times in all the ways you can. It's really normal that some artists come and say, oh, no one's buying from me. No one is liking what I post. No one really goes to my website. I already told about my message four times this week. You know how I feel. Why would you say that? Like you put me in such an uncomfortable situation. Like you know I'm not happy. You know I'm trying to see if it'll work out here and I know that it's not. I'm sorry, it's not enough. I would say that each one of the people who interact with you needs to listen to your message at least 10 times before they really understand what you mean. An Italian girl from New York. I'm just an Italian girl from New York. Dark Italian. Good, good Brooklyn Italian girl. <laughs> I'm an Italian. So I'm Italian. But I'm Italian. Italian. I'm Italian, so. I was a strong Italian female. Italian. I'm Italian. <laughs> I'm Italian. <laughs> I'm Italian. I'm from a good Italian family. Aren't you Italian? I am. Very traditional Italian. Mm -hmm. Long Italian family. I'm an Italian woman. You're Italian, you know what those are. It's Italian men, you know. You're, I'm an Italian. I'm an Italian. From an Italian family. Italian. I'm Italian. I'm pretty much anything Italian. I'm very Italian. I'm very Italian. I'm really Italian. And that's the first step. After that, after they understand, they start to see the value. And when they start to see the value, they can start a relationship with you that will result in a sale, that will result in a community, that will result on them liking your things, sharing your things, and really being connected with you. 
you need to share a lot and this is how you bring more traffic however if you don't know who you are if you don't have your message if you don't have your identity it doesn't matter how many times you speak things or post your artwork or you show up on the internet you need to be consistent in one identity in one direction so you can attract this right buyers if your message is confusing some people will understand one thing other people will understand another thing and when they converge to traffic you will not be able to convert them because each one of them are expecting something different from you you need to be really clear about who you are, what you offer, for whom you offer, and repeat this over and over and over again. It's a movie about trauma. It's a movie about trauma. And the movie is about trauma. The 2018 movie obviously was a movie about trauma. The whole last movie was a study in trauma. It's a lot about rage and trauma. Rage and trauma colliding. Trauma and evil meeting. They made a movie about female trauma. Well, it's nostalgia, but it's nostalgia based on trauma. <laughs> what does trauma really look like? This is what trauma looks like. I liked that it was a movie about trauma, and I liked that it explored it through generations. Family trauma. Generational trauma. Generational trauma, family trauma. You know, generational trauma. Generational trauma. Generational trauma. Yeah. Trauma. 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 The trauma. This is how you get traffic. The right type of traffic. Sometimes we attract a lot of people that are not connected with what we want. And these people can actually be harmful to your brand. Imagine that you have a real store like a real, real store, like your studio that you open your door and stuff. Imagine that now you have two people that go to this store every day. And these two people are really your right buyers. If they don't buy from you on that day, they will be taking pictures of your artwork and posting on social media. They are going to be talking to you and the same subjects that you believe they're going to say, oh, I will bring my friend that also will like what you're doing. And all of these actions will build up helping your business and helping your brand. However, if you have a thousand of people going to your store every single day and they are not your right buyers, what will happen? You will need to clean this floor a lot they can hurt your art business. You have no time to dedicate to each one of them. And by the end of the day, they were not going to buy anything. They are not going to share what you have there. They are not going to bring people who will like that. So instead of being building up something positive for you, they are harming your brand. They are destroying your store and you need to put more effort on make things going. You don't need traffic, you need the right traffic. The right traffic will come from the right buyers. The right buyers will come from who you are and what you want and how much you share your message. Focus on those things and you will be right on the point to build your career. I believe you. Do you believe yourself? See you next week. I need to tell you that I have a full masterclass for free. How can you take the leap and become the artist that you want to become? It's not a sales pitch. In this masterclass, I will help you with a real training that will give you the step by step. So if you want to check this, go here in this website and you watch a two hour class totally for free so you can start to be a full-time artist right now. Thank you so much for keeping making art.